What's up everyone, I'm Cyber Rampage, and uh, it is time for yet another art review, oh yes everyone, oh yes. So just like usual I got three uh, really awesome artists lined up for you guys and gals, and uh, two pictures for each of them actually, so yeah. With that being said, let's start it off with our very first artist for today called Pretty Chill. Uh, the spelling error is intentional. A digital art hobbyist, Pretty Chill female from Finland, and she has been on DA for only one week. And uh, she definitely does show some promise, so the first picture we're going to take a look at from her is Lunar New Hoodie. And as you can see, like I said, you know, she definitely does have some promise, although there is a little bit to be worked on. So first off, I gotta say the line work is actually pretty, pretty nice. You know, it's uh, really smooth and all that. Not a not a lot of chop as far as I can see and all that. And now for the things that uh, could be worked on a little bit, uh, I gotta say uh, the shadows. You know, uh, first off, the shadows uh, they do look quite nice over here and all that. But as we go on over to the uh, hair and the body, they kind of look more like a. Uh, more like little uh, smudges and all that stuff, especially over here, you know, uh, they're like uh, way too soft. And secondly, uh, this part over here, like I know what you're trying to go for, like uh, maybe some little uh, freckles, you know, like or uh, like darker details on the kneecaps and all. Or this kind of looks like uh, the picture is a little bit dirty and all that stuff, it just looks like specks of dirt. You should uh, try to make those a little bit more sharper, you know, just like the shadows. Make them a little bit more sharper and everything will be uh, just fine and all. The coloring is actually pretty cool, you know, nice, uh, both the uh, cold and warm tones are really, really nice. Over here we got a uh, 3D looking uh, signature right here, very beautiful. Also over here and over here as the date. Lunar new hoodie. I got a new big hoodie by accident and I just wanted to draw a me you know, see on it. So I did, I'm a little blushy girl. Program is used, Procreate, device used, iPad Pro 11. Uh, time taken 6 hours and 41 minutes according to Procreate, also changing her design a bit by. I gotta say that definitely does show a lot of dedication uh, to the craft and all that, uh, almost 7 whole hours, you know, to work on it. Although, uh, I will give you another piece of advice, uh, definitely get a nice, uh, you know, drawing pad like a Wacom and all that stuff. Don't use any Apple devices because uh, Apple has this bullshit where they're like, uh, whenever they release something new, they basically make a so-called patch that like slows all the previous uh, hardware down to make it a... Uh, seem you know like the uh, new hardware is like uh, somehow better and all that so don't waste your money on apple stuff and the next picture we're going to take a look at is this one right here and as you can see there's definitely progress made in this one it looks really really nice and as you can see the line work in this one is a lot uh, thicker and all that it makes the character pop out a bit more and uh, which is actually really good because it makes the smaller details you know uh, more apparent and all that uh, pictures with a lot of small details are Usually better with like thicker outlines because you can focus in on the areas a bit more and all that. And of course the details have vastly improved. As you can see over here we got those, uh, you know, little uh, splotches and all that. Uh, kind of like a freckle style. It actually looks a lot better than the previous one. It doesn't look like dirt, you know, it actually looks like natural details. And the coloring is actually really, really well done as well. Uh, there's a lot more warmer tones in this one. Uh, which I really do like. And the anatomy is also pretty, pretty well done. You know, uh, the previous picture, it's more of a chibi style feel, but in this one, it's a bit of a more complex, uh, realistic body, uh, realistic body shape and all that. Um, I really do love this area right here. As you can see, there's a lot of details right here uh, with these uh, pretty, um, you know, pretty accessories and all that. I really do love this one because when you zoom in on it, you can definitely see how much uh, you know, how much uh, care and effort went into it, you know, it's really nice and defined, very smooth. And of course, uh, the hands also look really nice. Although I will say that the uh, pinky and middle fingers kind of look a little bit, uh, a little bit too smooth, almost rubbery in a sense. So be sure to work on that just a tiny, tiny bit and uh, you'll be golden. As we can see the shadows, uh, they also do look a little bit uh, smudgy in this one as well, especially in these areas. But uh, there's definitely improvement going on. You know, the background is a little bit more complex and all that. And of course, over here on the bottom, we have some uh, what looks like to be dust and some lens flares, so that's all pretty cool. Overall, definitely a really nice improvement. Uh, I also like how you kept the shine on the hair, really beautiful smooth brush strokes. And I just noticed that there's two tiny little hearts right here, that's a really beautiful touch. Lunar, also new clothes, so I drew my main Goon OC again uh, with some new clothes because I can. Uh, also the hands, I just, I'm so happy because they look decent. Uh, you can find speed paint on Instagram, Lunar belongs to me. Yeah, the hands actually do look a lot better and all that, uh, but uh, just like I said, be sure to work on your fingers a little bit because the middle and pinky kind of look uh, like they're uh, rubber and all that. 
So yeah, a thumbs up and keep doing what you're doing. Now let's move on to our next artist called XX uh, Misery Business XX. I write sins and tragedies, a digital art professional, a tricky the Sylvian, a 17 year old female from the United States, and she has been on DA for three years. And the first picture we're gonna take a look at from her is this one right here. And I gotta say, it really does look nice. You know, a bit of a more simple picture and all that. As we can see, the background is a really nice soft touch. That's actually really nice because, uh, you know, the sky background is, of course, is supposed to be uh, having colder tones and all that, unless there's a sun in it. And uh, over here uh, in the foreground, we have some nice uh, origami uh, tulips. Uh, I do love the coloring on them. As you can see, really nice shading. And of course the character, uh, the body however do, does look a little bit on the simpler side, but the head and the hair are actually are really nice and well defined. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I really do like that the clouds are actually like soft brush strokes uh, to give them a more fluffy looking, uh, you know, type of feel. Makes them look more natural, so definitely thumbs up on that one. Imaginary, it's been quite a while since I uh, submitted something, so here's some Evanescence inspired Lincoln Park fan art. Uh, and yes, I took the lyrics on a field of paper flowers and candy clouds for a lullaby. I put the artistic interpretation in there. Also, uh, most of the paper flowers are pastel colors since it's spring. And yes, uh, the person at the bottom is supposed to be Chester Bennington. Uh, this piece is part of a collection known as song art. Each time I add a deviation based on a song, there will be an added thumbnail. I'll link the deviation in the description of the deviation. Well, that's actually pretty, pretty cool. You know, song inspired art is... Uh, Super nice, and I do love artistic interpretations of them. And the next picture we're gonna take a look at is this one with a very, very weird name. It's a portrait of silver, but uh, the name is pretty funny. I'm just gonna call it... Now, this picture is actually pretty interesting. It's a more, uh, you know, realistic style portrait of silver. And I will say that uh, he will definitely be haunting my nightmares. The uh, soft brush strokes on a silver's fur, making it have a more uh, fluffy look and feel, just like with the clouds in the previous one. As you can see over here, a real nice individual strands of hair, and of course over here on the top of the head, flowing in the wind. Definitely a nice, you know, for a more realistic approach. But I will definitely say this is uh, pretty much a crux of the lineless art style, because uh, over here, as you can see with the uh, natural lighting, you know, everything looks nice and defined right here. You can definitely tell where his body begins and all that. But over here, on the other hand, uh, it kind of looks like uh, it kind of looks like uh, his hair is becoming one with the clouds uh, because uh, they're pretty much almost the same color shade. So yeah, uh, you should definitely try to add a little bit more definition definition to this right here. And the second thing I want to mention is, of course, uh, the hands. Now, the left hand actually looks quite nice. Albeit the pinky finger is a little bit too sharp, but uh, the right hand, however, definitely looks uh, really wonky. Uh, the pinky finger is by far the most massive out of all of them, and uh, it's supposed to be the opposite. Like, the pinky finger is about uh, supposed to be about the same length or shorter than the thumb, so uh, try to work on that a little bit. Overall, uh, the picture definitely does look uh, quite nice, I gotta say. I really do like uh, how nice and defined the shoes are, you know, compared to everything else. Uh, it makes them stick out a little bit more, but they're not too... Uh, too much in your face. Realizes almost immediately I forgot to date the drawing, but I'm too fucking lazy to go back to write the date of it, so finished, uh, and I wanted to uh, draw semi-realistic silver, and the result wasn't too bad. Uh, this is a redraw of uh, Guilty All the Same, I wanted to do one thing. Uh, holy shit, I improved a lot since the last year, like uh, shading, uh, shading and everything, a thousand times better, that's actually pretty true, the shading is really nice, and I just wanted to send it a trench, as you have metal sucking shading, gold and silver especially, but I'm not talking about the hedgehog. Uh, also, I'm about to draw some rocks. I decided against it because I have no fucking idea how to shade them either. Uh, this piece is part of a collection of song art. So now with that being said, let's uh, go on to a third and final artist for this episode called Otaku Raichu, a very hobbyist core member, not actually a Raichu, female from Canada, and she's been on DA for three years like the previous artist. And as you can see, uh, this artist is a very nice uh, professional traditional artist, so uh, that's pretty cool. Honestly, on this show, I think it did a, a more a digital than traditional artist, so it is pretty cool to see a traditional one. And the first picture we're gonna take a look at from her is... John with Neptune, and as you can see, it is really, really awesome. The art style is definitely something to behold, it's really nice and unique, you know, gives it a really nice uh, comic book looking type of feel, especially these, uh, these uh, line shadows and all that. I really do love the line shadow style. As you can see, uh, the line work is just impeccable. I really don't have to say anything about it. You can see for yourself, it's so good. The anatomy of the characters is pretty well drawn. 
you know, the head of the character is uh, like uh, supposed to be more chibi like and all that, while the body is more realistic. And now, the character John, you know, I really do love skeleton characters. The skull is really nice and detailed, as well as the hands, as you can see, are really, uh, really nice individual uh, details and shadows and all that. And of course, as you can see, very, very realistic looking wrinkles on the clothes. Everything is where it's supposed to be. So overall, a huge thumbs up. Honestly, I really don't have to say anything to improve upon this picture because it's already super good. So there you go. Uh, of course, over here we have the artist signature and all that. A John with Neptune, gift for my cool friend, uh, featuring Neptune wearing an SS uniform. Uh, John Mortem belongs to this guy. Neptune is a character from Hyperdimension Neptunia, which belongs to Compile Heart and Idea Factory. I heard about Hyperdimension Neptunia, but I haven't played any of it. And now let's move on to the second picture, which is going to be our final for this one. And it is called Lilith and Incubus, a nice Binding of Isaac style picture. Very, very beautiful, I gotta say. And this one is actually more rare because I honestly haven't, uh, or at least I don't remember doing doing that many marker drawings on this uh, on this show, so this is all, uh, this is definitely uh, really, really cool to see every now and again. It's just like with the previous one, it's very beautiful, as you can see, the line work is nice and defined. The colors, I really, really love the warm uh, color tones of markers, you know. They're some of my favorite drawing instruments, I gotta say. Uh, you can uh, make some really, really beautiful creations, and honestly, something like this, you know, belongs on a sticker. You can definitely make a lot of money selling this. And, of course, I gotta mention the beautiful, beautiful shading on the hair. Look at that. I really, really love this sort of uh, a liquidy-looking shine on the hair, you know? I will say that there's one thing that should be fixed up a little bit on this picture. Over here, if you actually take a look at the top of the, uh, of the left horn, it kind of looks like she has two chips right here. So, you should definitely try to maybe fill that in. Lilith and Incubus. Uh, Lilith and Incubus, uh, Divining of Isaac, belongs to Edmund McMillan. If you're interested in a commission, here's a sheet about them. Uh, follow me at, at uh, Choco, uh, Chocorai on Instagram for more art. Well, that's actually pretty, pretty cool. You know, thank you so much to everyone who submitted the art for me to review and all that. Uh, this series is definitely going to stop soon be said because sadly, uh, you know, DeviantArt is going to be permanently switching to the absolutely terrible new Eclipse uh, type of thing. So, yeah, I predict uh, a lot of people are going to stop using the site because of that, and, uh, yeah, it is it is a real bitch to navigate through, so I definitely really don't want to try to even bother with, bother with that, so, yeah, that's about it. But I'll try to squeeze out a, a one or two more R reviews before the whole thing ends up happening, so, yeah. Anyway, everyone, that's about it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the bell icon, and if you wish to support me, put me in the link in the description below. And as always, I'm Cyber Rampage, and I'll be seeing you guys in the house. In the next video. Coconut,